it looks it might look like a deed of some sort i can't tell it's got like proper fancy signatures and everything Whoa, they're much younger now. Crikey nutcrackers. You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like two billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole. Just jump down, it's not like you could get hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a friggin' skydive! You can't stay here. You can't stay on here, you can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear the- Eva, what the- Ugh. Wuss. Ah, so you can't get hurt in memories. Why would they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This pl place means a lot to me too, and I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze. We'll be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, we'll always be nearby. And and we could walk here any time. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending isn't any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they're happy. Let's move on. Oh, so they keep mentioning her. Is her the lighthouse? Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then that river. She declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but uh, I can never wrap my head around it. It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. Yeah, so I was right. Anya is the lighthouse, and it's a she. Anya is the abandoned lighthouse by the cliffside. I'm really curious now why the lighthouse is so important. Because yeah, it does seem really extreme that she chose to keep the lighthouse. Than to take treatment while we're watching them head up to the cliff. It's weird watching things in back and reverse. Hey, this is where we crashed our car. That was a fun time. Oop, there's a bunny there. Ok, 
guess there's not much else. No dead squirrels, nothing else. Okay. Another memory unlocked. I did something wrong already. Ah, uh, if we could only use a diagnose over here. Okay, I think I need to reverse whatever the hell I just did. That's not reversing it. But it's okay, because we got it eventually. Another folded rabbit. River? Wow, I guess this is when her condition started. That's the first rabbit that she probably made. Uh, hold on, let me just double check I didn't miss anything in here. Yellow paper rabbit. Dear lord, not again. I wonder what the rabbits signify. Obviously it's quite important to River. No, that's not what I wanted. Oh, the house is much smaller. New boxes of plain paper. Uh-oh, I think I know where this is going. Oh, this is the origami paper. This is the paper that she used to make the rabbits. An old baby grand piano. How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'll be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. Not really, you couldn't even get it through its door. Oh, it's funny they made a Doctor Who reference. Hmm, true. Well, that sells it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'll probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither, it sounds pretty epic. Yeah, I find it funny that they mentioned Doctor Who, because one of the characters is also named Rivers in that show. Oh no. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about the rabbit. Uh huh? Describe the rabbit. Um, it was yellow? What else? A bit puffy? And? Well, it's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting. 
acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps, who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. Well, it's definitely some sort of neurological condition. Many long strands of orange hair. Oh, she cut off all her hair. Oh no. Poor John, he doesn't know what's going on. So, this is the day she started it, huh? Yeah, the first day she started making all these rabbits. And the platypus is the memento again. Oh, I feel really sorry for these two. I mean, there's not much you can do about mental illnesses. She just looks different from before. And before she had so much life and she was so happy when they were gonna get the lighthouse. here the house wouldn't have been completed yet right oh what did we find Miss the squirrels. Yeah, there's. This is where the house used to be, isn't it? The house that never should have been. I mean, really. Well, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Acrophobia. Let's check out that note. Description something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. I am assuming that's fear of dangerous places like cliff sides. Uh, yeah, this is where the house was. Uh, we can't go up there to see if the lighthouse is still there. Yeah, there's no paths or anything. Oh, the backpack. Oh, and the lighthouse is still there.
Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. What is that, a hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know, you want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! I think this memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Uh, this is the backpack. Oh, it's the memento that we're looking for. This backpack was in... was in his room. Why did she cut her anyways? I like long hair. Oh, we've already completed everything. That was pretty quick. River seems to have a very... strong attachment to this lighthouse. Strong is like an understatement. Okay, what is this backpack about? like the puzzles in this. Gives like a small break between the stories. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean that we share the same head. But, you must be able to help somehow. Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even we're, when we're in the same room, she's never really there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. 
It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then I realize that it's too late. The Isbel that people know of is an act, and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Huh? I've never met a woman with it before. Then, technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business. Let's move. Also, Isabel and River, they share the same condition, but it looks like River has trouble adjusting with it. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's new clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorph series. I know, your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. Heh, <laughs> yeah. That was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you read them since? Hmm? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. I'm not yours, you're not mine. Be my anti-Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. River? Oh, this is like a bookshop of some sort. They've been here pretty often, it seems. But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs, have you read it? No. Yes? Really? Sort of. Oh, oh, do you know what animal is David's main morph? Um... Oh god. Um, um, there is no way I can guess this. How, what, what kind of animal has five letters? Uh, tiger? T-I-G-E-R? This, this is guessing. I'm sorry for 
fans of the Animorph series. That doesn't sound right. Don't worry, I'll find it out for you. Are there clues? I... Do I have to look this up? The world would be a lot more beautiful if people just remembered faces more. No, I want to figure out the Animorph thing. Are there like a book lying around somewhere that I could just quickly reference? Maybe his backpack? No. Okay, nothing up here. Oh, that's the memento. Tobias, Hawk, Rachel, Grizzly, Jake, Tiger, Marco, Gorilla, David, Cobra. Ah, there we go. Cassie, Wolf. Why? Oh, just wondering. You could have just googled it. I mean, yeah, I guess I could have. But the clue was here. It's a cobra. Do you know what animal is David's main morph? Okay, now we know it's a cobra. A cobra. Oh yeah, Cobra! I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plain sheets. Those were cool. Alright. Perhaps I should reread them after all. I can barely recall a thing from the series. You have nothing against reading... old books from the past. <laughs> 